Hi, my name is Grace and I'm a second year student here at the Royal Duke School of Veterinary Medicine and for my vlog today I thought I would tell you a little bit about my journey to get to vet school and why I want to become a vet. So for my journey to vet school basically I have always been drawn to animals ever since I was little. I was obsessed with going to petting zoos and always wanted to be hands on and feeding the animals. And then once I got my cats Charlie, Lola and my dog Honey, I kind of confirmed in my head that I wanted to be a vet from quite a young age as I absolutely adored them and knew I wanted to work with animals in some way. So once I realised that I wanted to be a vet, when I got to high school I made sure I took the right subjects um, that you need to get into vet school so I checked on the website and um, discovered what the subjects I needed to take. At my school, at the year before you do exams, you get to go on a week of work experience for this, I went to my local veterinary surgery, wanting to be a veterinary nurse. But once I was there, the vet showed me around and over the week convinced me that I actually just wanted to become a veterinary surgeon and not a veterinary nurse. Um, so this was a great realisation to have back then, so I knew that I was on the right track. Um, that week of work experience also confirmed that I loved being in the veterinary like setting in the practice. Um, I really enjoyed going out on calls as it was a mixed practice, so I got to go out to see um, a lame horse, a calf and a calving um, and I also got to see consultations of dogs, um, hamsters, um, all that sort of stuff so it was really cool to see. So after I knew I wanted to be a vet after that week of work experience I made sure to work hard to get the grades that I needed while also doing other work experience along the side. Um, I would highly recommend checking what subjects you need and what grades you need on the website before you start um, picking subjects because then you know what you need to work towards. So some of the work experience I did alongside my studies while I was at school was I did a work experience at my local practice every Friday after school and there I got to step in and watch all the consultations in the afternoon and this really built up my relationship with the clients and the vets that worked there as I went for at least a year and a half until Covid hit. I also did a week at a petting zoo, um, I had horse riding experience for seven years and I also went to an abattoir for half a day. These experiences were all invaluable and really helped me confirm that I wanted to be a vet and knew that I was on the right track and wasn't wasting my time thinking that I wanted to be a vet when really in the veterinary setting was a lot different than what I thought it was going to be. So to further confirm that I wanted to be a vet, I also did some online courses. So these are ran by the Edinburgh University and they're called MOOCs, so they're massive online open courses and they are free and they show you different aspects of the veterinary career that you may not have a chance to get work experience in. This allows you to see what's involved in the vet career and what it takes to become a vet. So I applied to vet school in October like you have to do in Scotland and I got offered an interview. So the interviews are multiple mini interviews so there are seven different stations with seven different interviewers in each one and you went around each station and they would both they would have a different topic of what they were going to ask you about. Um, I really enjoyed the style of interview as if you messed up one or wasn't so confident in one station then you could move on to the next station knowing that that interviewer has no idea that you just maybe didn't give your best answers in that previous one so you still have a chance to prove yourself and show that um, show the skills that you have are what it takes to become a vet. Um, unfortunately though, after my first round of interviews, I did get rejected from the vet school on the basis that I didn't have enough work experience and maybe I just wasn't as confident in my interview as I could be as it was my first ever interview um, for vet school. So I decided to take a gap year and I would apply again the next year. So in my gap year, it was COVID. It was the COVID year where we were in lockdown. So I was working, but most of it was online. And also I got work, more work experience, but it was difficult to find. I managed to do a week of candle kennels and also a tour around the dairy farm. Um, this also just broadens my experience that I didn't have before. Also during my year in COVID, I did a course with SRUC. Um, it was an online course and I did two of them. I did actually one at high school, which was the principles of animal care. And then when, in my gap year, I did one on terminology. And these courses really helped me um, understand more about the veterinary career and taking care of animals and also the terminology one gave me a head start in the terminology that I need to know for first year. So I applied again the second time around and this time because of Covid interviews were online. So the format was mostly the same as it was still multiple mini interviews as there's more than one interviewer and they were again asking about different topics of like veterinary career but because also it was online there was less stations so there was also a online a um, little assessment you had to do, just testing core skills. For interviews, I would highly recommend researching common veterinary like 
problems before you go to your interview as then you have something to talk about and also knowing the current challenges in the veterinary career. Also just having a general knowledge of like vaccinations and also and like common diseases. So knowing these things can really help you as it gives you stuff to talk about during your interview and also means you can relate to your work experience. And um, also shows the vet school that you're interested in the course and that you're willing to do research before you go to the vet school. I would also highly recommend speaking about your work experience during your interview as this is first hand experience that you've got and then showing if you managed, if you had to handle any difficult situations, how you handled them and how you handle the pressure of being a veteran. So this time round I was fortunate enough to get an unconditional offer to the vet school. So there's different modules you do at the vet school, so there's animal body, animal life and professional clinical skills. So in first year in animal body you do anatomy, histology and cell biology and it's mostly anatomy of the dog and knowing what's normal in the dog before you start expanding to other species. Um, in histology you're looking deeper into the tissues of what different cells are like and in cell biology you're learning about the cellular processes within the body. You then move on to Animal Body 2 where you learn about bacteriology, cell pathology, immunology, inflammation, parasitology and virology. So it's starting to introduce the not normal stuff, um, so obviously you need to know the normal before you can start investigating the abnormal. In first year in animal life you learn about animal husbandry, animal breeding and genetics, animal welfare and veterinary public health. So animal life is more the husbandry side of things, so more how to take care of animals, how to handle them and how they can affect the public health if they're in the food chain. In professional and clinical skills you learn stuff like time management and finances, um, how to handle stress and it's more the start to clinical skills that you'll need for your veterinary career. So in first year you have exam on animal body 1, animal body 2 and animal life and also some other in-course assessments throughout the year. You also have some presentations to do and an essay to write. Um, I have now just gone into year two and we are currently working on Animal Body 3 and Animal Life 2. So in Animal Body 3 we are doing locomotion of the horse and bovine, um, cardiovascular system, respiratory system, metabolism and digestive system. Um, these courses have started to spread our species that we have been learning about with, as we're now starting to learn about equine and bovines. And in Animal Life 2 we're doing more work on husbandry and also we have had principles of nutrition and we're about to start on dog and cat nutrition. So the biggest reason I wanted to become a vet was because that the career is very rewarding. Although you do need a lot of resilience and determination, um, I thought the career is really rewarding as you get to treat animals that were sick and could help themselves. I also want to be a vet as I also do enjoy speaking to people. Um, obviously in vet you do have to speak to clients and this is a good way to speak to people and get to know about their animals. Um, also like improves your communication skills. I also love the variety of the job, like not no two days are the same. You could be out on a call one day, could be in the practice next, um, don't work on different animals, doing night shifts and I love the variety and that it would never get boring. I also love the fact that you're always learning and there's always new advances in veterinary, new technology, and new disease discoveries, so the career is always evolving. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, if you do have any questions please leave them in the comments of this video and I will try to answer them the best I can in my next vlog. Bye!